The Akron Zips are undefeated no more. UB Bulls came out firing on Saturday night behind the play of Javon McCray and ended up upsetting the 24th ranked Zips 81 to 67. Bulls came out firing as I said in the first half getting out to a 37 to 32 lead. It was a game where the Bulls shot 52 percent in the first half and just had it going early on. Zips were having struggles uh, shooting from behind the arc. Only one for six in the first half and only three for 15 total in the game. Really one of the big struggles for Akron on the day. After going to halftime with a five-point lead, the Bulls continued to play well in the second half. After a short not great start to the second half. Akron tied up the game, but UB quickly responded, uh, getting back in control of the game, going up by as many as double digits, really playing strong behind Javon McCray, who finished with a game-high 26 points. It was a battle between Javon McCray and Zeke Marshall. Zeke Marshall had a good game for the Zips, 17 points, and this game was played in the paint. Despite Akron uh, getting 46 points in the paint to UB's 30, it was a game where UB was aggressive. They were driving to the hoop. They were using their big men to really get at the Akron zone and man-to-man. -man. Will Reagan finishes with 16 points for UB, and then Jaron Skeet had a very good game for the Bulls with 18 points and five assists. His five assists among the 20 assists the Bulls had on the day. It was a game where the Bulls offense was just flying in all cylinders, 81 points against the Zips. That's an impressive feat, and you just you break down the stats. Despite UB getting out-rebounded 36 to 33, UB big men played big, the guards played well, and it was a game that with four minutes left, Despite Akron still being in it technically, UB felt that they had the game up 10. It was a game that things were just going UB's way. So they had a great game and we just couldn't pick it up, pick up the sack as much as we should have. You know, we had a quick turnaround from Ohio and you know, not taking that for that to be a reason, but you know, if there any type of sack of fatigue that we have, we have to pick it up. That's what good teams do. We just couldn't do it tonight. So, you know, they had them ready to go. They played well. They played well at our place too. So we, we, know, we know it's all the same for us. It doesn't matter who we play, it's all the same. Doesn't matter if it's Canada, it doesn't matter if it's Ohio, doesn't matter if it's Central Michigan, everybody plays against us. For UB and Javon McCray in particular, it's just nice for them to get a win. It's their first win in program history over a top 25 team, and they can now uh, rejoice after the win, and Coach definitely uh, took the win in stride and was happy about it. I think our guys have persevered all year and, and made a a great effort to just take it a day at a time in, a, in an attempt to just get better every single day and block out all of the rest of the things. Um, and I think today we put together a pretty good 40 minutes. It the first time we met, so I really wanted to come out tonight and be aggressive against Akron. I know they won a lot of games in a row and they were ranked, so I knew it would be a big one. With the win, UB improves the 7-7 seven seven in MAC play. For Queen City Sports, I'm Mike Bunn.